Hello everybody, I'm here again to show you another way to disable game bar presence writer process. After digging around, I also found a gem of a website or a form that discussed it in a little bit more detail here. What you're going to need to do, and I'll provide a link, is that you're going to need to get a little program. It's been around for reg owner ship ex and uh, this will help you because certain aspects of uh, your registry is locked out you're not going to be able to make any changes unless you take ownership of them and in order to do that you're going to need permission so uh, this program helps you gain permission without changing or the uh, registry itself because whenever you do updates and you're going to be forced to update you don't want to mess up your copy of windows so uh, this will help you take ownership and then restore as you can see see here restore ownership back to the way it was because all you want to do is make a change that's all you really want to do so i'm going to uh you know show you how to do that and uh, help you be able to find an alternative but unfortunately it's just as convoluted as my other video i mean neither one of these options are easy to do you need to take ownership of a particular key so let's get started here you're going to need to open up your registry with admin privileges and you want to go to hkey local machine you want to go to software you want to go to Microsoft, and you want to go to Windows, Runtime, then you want to go to Activatable Class ID. Then you want to find the key called Windows.Gaming.GameBar.Presence.Server.Internet.Presence writer i told you this thing phones home <laughs> today in my other video this is more proof that this thing is a, it's, a, it's a server kind of um, application so you want to disable it and i'm doing this even though i've already renamed it just to see if it makes any difference so here's what you're going to need to do once you do that you can type it in or you can browse for it i've already found it here i've already taken ownership of it you want to take ownership of it and then you want to refresh you want to go to view and then you want to refresh it before you try to do any changes or else it won't take and then you want to go here where it says activation type and then you want to change that from a one to a zero that is all you're doing you want to make a backup copy so you want to export and then you want to save this as a backup all right now that i got it saved i'm gonna go ahead and change this from a one to a zero and then what you want to do is restore ownership not sure why there's two of them put it all in here so you can see it only need to do it once and you just this is showing you i think because i did it twice it came up twice it shouldn't happen to you but restoring ownership should bring it back. So now that I've restored ownership, when I go back into it, go here, refresh. And there you go. You want to hit that refresh button before you try to go back and check that you can't change it anymore. Just like when before you go ahead and uh, make the initial change, you want to hit the refresh button. You want to go to view and then hit refresh on your registry editor. I found this on a, a website that talked about it. Make sure you get your copy of Red Ownership EX. This is a handy tool that comes in handy for Windows 10. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.